Good morning, boys and girls, and happy Sabbath. I'm so glad that you can join me for story time. But before we start, let's quickly close our eyes as we say a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for the Sabbath day that you've given us. Thank you for the opportunity to come together and to listen to a story. Please, Father, open our hearts as we hear your word and as we learn the lessons that you've prepared for us. In Jesus' name, amen. So, boys and girls, the story I want to share with you is a true story. And it's from an experience that I had two years ago. I had an opportunity to travel to South Sudan with work. Do you know where South Sudan is? This is a really hot place right at the top of the African continent. When we got there, one of the things that stood out to me was how incredibly hot it was. We traveled at the end of January and in the first week of Feb. And during those months, temperatures can reach up to 40 degrees Celsius. And that is really, really hot. I loved my time there. And one of the things that stood out for me was how many birds of prey I saw during my time there. Do you know what birds of prey are? Birds of prey are birds that catch other animals. And one of the things that, that is very distinctive about them is that they have big talons. You know what talons are? Those are like claws that they have. And birds of prey have really good eyesight. So some examples of birds of prey that I saw there are, I saw owls, I saw hawks, falcons, and I even saw vultures. And usually during the heat of the day, when I look up, you could see falcons and hawks circling up, flying in a spiral slowly in the hot afternoon sun. On the compound that I stayed, there were some animals um, as well. Uh, some of the animals included goats, and they made a lot of noise during the day and even in the evening. There was a huge bull also on the compound, and my favorite was some chicks that were following their little and cute feathery mom everywhere. In the afternoons, while I was standing in the shade after I had done my day's work, I would love to, to watch them as they would pick around and pick around in the dust. And what was so cute was, everywhere that mother hen went, you would see the little chicks following behind her in a close line. And she would cluck, 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 cluck everywhere she went. And the little chicks would always listen to her and never stray too far away. I loved looking at them. But I noticed that there was one little chick that was always trailing behind. He wasn't staying as close as he could to mother hen as the other ones were. And I would always look at him and wonder, I wonder why he's not as close to them as the others were. And whenever we would throw out some seeds or throw out some breadcrumbs, I would try and give an, a little bit of extra to that small one. And this one afternoon, while I was standing um, and watching them and enjoying looking at them, suddenly, out of the blue, as the mother hen was clucking and as the other chicks were following her, that one was still trailing behind. And as I was standing there, out of the blue, a hawk came swooping down out of the air and snatched the little one and flew away. I got such a big shock because I didn't expect it. And Mother Hen got such a big shock because she didn't expect it. And she was clucking, clucking, clucking. And in that moment, as the hawk flew down and snatched up that little one, 
The other little chicks quickly ran to Mother Hen and went to cower underneath her wings. She opened up her feathers, opened up her wings, and then she closed it up again. So all the other ones were safe. But unfortunately, that little one was snatched up. And I felt so sorry for the little one. But unfortunately, that is how it works in nature. But do you know what? Even though this is a sad story, there's a lesson that can be learned for us. And I want you to turn your Bibles to Psalm 91 verse 4. Psalm 91 verse 4. It reads, He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. Now we know that there are many dangers out there. And fortunately, we don't really have to be too afraid because we've got mom and dad and maybe big brother and big sister who can protect us and look after us. But we have someone even better that looks after us and protects us. And that is Jesus. He protects us. And in his word, he says, if we stay close to him, if we do what is right, he protects us. He covers us under his wings so that no harm will come to us, not any danger from outside or from inside. So my encouragement to you this morning is stay close to Jesus. He will protect you. Let's read our verse one more time. Psalm 91 verse 4. It reads, He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. So don't be afraid and don't worry about anything. As long as we stay close to Jesus, he will protect us under his wings. Let's close our eyes for a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you so much that we needn't fear anything as long as we stay close to you. Thank you for like that mother hen, you protect us under your wings. Help us to remain faithful and true. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.